Adding to the headache brought on by the current bus driver shortage, there is yet another accident involving a school bus. No children were injured after the driver of a truck involved suffered a medical emergency around Rockford, and no bus drivers have been at fault in any of these most recent accidents. But 13 On Your Side's Charlie Tinker looked into whether the rush to hire may mean compromising certain standards. Yeah, guys, that's exactly right. I am told the uh, Rockford school bus involved in this morning's crash was still able to be driven back to the bus garage uh, where it is likely right now. However, this is the fourth crash in just under a month uh, in Caledonia Township. We had one in September in Spring Lake. There was a rollover in September in which the driver was cited and four children were hospitalized after a uh, crash near Grand Haven in early October. A photo from Michigan State Police shows the early morning head on crash on M44. The hood of the truck investigators say was at fault crumpled, leaving the bus with only minor damage. Then there's that driver shortage. In a joint nationwide survey out last month, a full half of all transportation coordinators told the National School Transportation Association shortages were bad or desperate. Some Massachusetts bus riders, meanwhile, found new drivers kitted out in camo after the governor called in the National Guard. But with the rush to hire on fresh help, are these companies cutting corners? That is priority number one, is safety. It's a question 13 on your side asked Dean Transportation's Kevin Harkness. Would we love to have people get in and get started right away? Yes, but the way we look at it is, and it's, we're not hauling truckloads of eggs. We're transporting students to and from school. We want to get them there safely. So, yeah, we, we won't cut corners. Dean's regional manager for Kent County tells me there's still short dozens of drivers at the moment, but the vetting process, says Harkness, is still just as stringent. New hires still have to be put through the paces, complete a background check, and be certified by the state. Now, counting on new incentives to bridge that gap. We have sign-on bonuses. We, we've had a wage increase recently um, at many of our locations. So, I mean, we're doing everything that we can feasibly do. The situation finally improving, says Harkness, who now also regularly gets behind the wheel himself. But with 30 to 40 spots in the area, Dean would like to fill immediately. He urges anyone interested in joining their team to fill out an application. In Rockford, Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side.